Hey, what's going on? This is Super Simple Fixes. Today we're going to be doing a product review on the Phoenix TK11 Tactical Flashlight. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get started. This is what you get for the money. You get the flashlight, you get a battery case with no battery, battery sold separately, you get this separate case. I'll leave the specs in the uh, description so you know I don't have to talk about all of that. But um, you can see that there's a button and there's three settings right here. But um, first thing I'm going to show you is the battery that I actually ended up getting. This is a rechargeable battery. So I got this one right here. You can actually get a separate mount to hook this on to the top of your gun. Um, I don't have that, but uh, this in itself, this flashlight is really nice because it's got 1600 lumens. Kind of um, stun someone if it's dark and uh, they're not expecting anything like that. Go look at these three settings here. Right now it's in lock, so you can see that little line right here, right next to the lock and you can't actually press it so that's pretty cool you can hook it to your belt on this setting it won't accidentally go off um, this setting right here is your standard light okay and if i shift it all the way up here this is my 1600 lumens it is super bright which i will actually show you but you can actually see it because the light's already bouncing off the wall um, one other thing is that this thing actually has a strobe function. It actually really doesn't matter whether you're on this setting or on the standard setting. If you hold it, I'll put it back on the standard setting. I'm gonna click this button, hold it, and you'll see the strobe. Click one more time to turn it off. Same thing happens here on the strongest setting. Click and, click and hold for strobe. One more time to turn it off. So not bad. The edge of this flashlight at the front is nice. Fits right in your hand. Single hand right here on my left hand. So if I have this on my left hand and I turn it on, that frees up my right hand to grab whatever weapon I need. We've measured five feet from the wall and we have a regular element flashlight on the left and the Phoenix on the right. <clears throat> and you can see that the element flashlight on the left has a much refined diameter. And this is at the standard setting. Now this is what the high beam on the Phoenix flashlight looks like on the right side. Here we're going to test the waterproofability of this uh, Phoenix flashlight. Um, it is rated for half an hour at five feet. I don't have five feet of water, but I'm going to drop it in here and cross my fingers that uh, this thing doesn't go out on me. Here we go. Look at that. Really nice. This is about a couple inches of water. I'll pull it right out. You guys saw where the battery was placed. It's right back here. You just unscrew the top and it worked fine. 